you believe me if I told you that there's a lure out there that you could target any species, have unlimited ways to rig it up, several different presentations, and you can get all of that with one package. Let me introduce you to the jackworm. Just like its name, it is a jack of all trades. The jackworm is a 3.9 inch finesse worm with a curly tail. It has pre-segmented sections so that you can cut it up and change the way it looks. You can catch crappie, you can catch anything that will bite a soft plastic. You can make it bite with this. I'm gonna show you a few ways how I like to rig it so you can go out there and catch some fish. All right, here's the setup. It is a 13 fishing Defy Silver light rod 6.6 with the Shimano Nasi 1000. This is six pound braid to six pound fluorocarbon. I got a 1 16th ounce weight on a one-out hook with the full size jack worm in black and blue. Let's see if we can jack some jaws with this jack worm. Got one. Got one. Ooh, yep. He's a jumper. Ooh, he's getting in the grass. Gonna have to be very careful. Don't let him get too buried. Little guy. Yeah, buddy. Here we go. That's the first one on the jack worm. Heck yeah. That honestly didn't take long. I just kind of went from spot to spot looking for them. And now that we found them, we're gonna pitch it back out there, see if there's more, see if he's got buddies out there. Oh, something was biting it. Felt similar to the bite of a bluegill, to be honest. All I'm doing is working it like a normal Texas rig right now. Letting it sink down to the bottom. Since it's buoyant, the tail is probably sitting up a little bit off the bottom. I'm just giving it some light twitches up. Letting it fall down again, working it nice and slow. It is hot, it is summertime, so these fish might be a little bit lethargic. Oh, something had it just now. Got it this time. Yep. Got him this time. It's been hot lately, so the fact that we're actually catching them, it's pretty good. That's the cool thing about this worm is I got two fish and most of my other worms would have been shredded up by now with all the short strikes and the missed bites that I've been getting. So far, it's been holding up. Got one. Yep. Little guy. He's jumping. Or maybe not a little guy. Yeah, he's tiny. He's not big. Here we go. Another little dink. They are liking the jack worm. We've got three with the worm fully intact. We're going to make our first little mod. We're gonna use that cut line right there, which is already starting to fray a little bit, but we're gonna use that cut line there and make our first modification. And now it is a cut worm. A little bit shorter, not by much, but it will change the action. That's a snag. I just snagged. Don't break it, the leader. All right, we are re-rigged. Gave it that old cut tail look. Got it on a mule jig, a 1 32nd ounce mule jig, and gonna go for that ultra finesse worm technique. There's a chance we catch more than just bass with this setup right now. 
but we're gonna see what we get as a bite. Got one. They love to bury me in this grass right here. They just love to do it. There it is. Swallowed in there. Little dinky. Have fun. Got another one. This one feels a little, nope, same size. I was about to say it feels a little bigger, but he's the same size. Let's keep him out of that grass. Where is your big brother? Or big sister? Or your big mama? I don't know, big or anything. Number five on the jackworm. Number two on the ultra finesse rig. And number one in our hearts. Little dinks seem to be piled up in there. Got him. Got him that time. Got him that time. Whoa. Ooh, that guy is barely hooked, skin hooked right at the top of the mouth, but we got him. That easy. Number, I lost count. Number six. Boom, nice one. Another one. Nah, you ain't getting me in that grass. You ain't getting me in the grass. They just can't help it. Can't help themselves. They're just eating it up. There we go. I'm gonna put him back. All right, we're gonna switch things up. That's pretty much four on the finesse rig. Let me show you guys another way this would be good rigged up. All right, for this next presentation, we're gonna trim off that cut tail again. This thing is designed to be cut. It is now just a regular worm. And we are gonna wacky rig this thing. Just gonna rig it. Find the center. Looks to be right around there. And we're gonna rig it right through the center of the worm, which would be like the smooth section right there. So as it's falling, that's gonna be given a ton of action. Now, because it floats, I do recommend going with the weighted wacky rig, but you could go weightless if you want. You're just gonna have to wait a long time for this thing to sink down. And again, we're doing all this on one rod, a light powered 13 fishing device silver, super affordable setup. Um, you could do this with any ultralight reel. I just happen to have it on a Shimano Nasi. Oh, that's a bite. Yep, yep, got one. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, uh, it was. <laughs> it was a nice little guy. Man, he torqued that thing. He got this thing all kinds of jacked up. Got one. Got a good one. Ugh. You're giving me some head shakes. Don't jump, don't jump. Ooh, baby. Don't jump. Don't jump. Oh my gosh. I don't know how big it is. It might be little, but feels big. Feels nice. Heck, it might be a catfish. Oh my gosh. I think it went and got itself stuck somewhere. I'm gonna give it some line. Uh, I don't think this is a snag. I think it just went and buried itself somewhere. Uh, I don't wanna break my rod. I don't wanna break off either. Oh, this is big. Come on. Oh, there we go. There we go. Got it free. Get in here. Get in here. Oh no! Ah. Uh. <laughs> Tag gum it. I knew it. I knew I shouldn't have pushed too hard. Oh, I am upset. That was big. 
That was so big. That's where it failed, right there. I don't know what that was. Definitely felt like a bass, like a big one too. This is six pound test, but I mean, line can break on anything. So I'm not even gonna venture to say how big that thing was, but it felt huge. <sighs> We're gonna get re-rigged. I'm gonna try and recover. Cause I am bummed out about that one for sure. Everybody likes to say they just lost the big one. I think I actually just did because I know the quality of fish in here is at least three pounds. That's what I'm gonna say. To be fighting that fish for that long, to wait out it coming out and unsnagging itself to just break off because I'm a bonehead who set his drag too tight and was started muscling it in and not taking his time. <sighs> Tiger King might not ever financially recover, but I might never emotionally recover from that. That was a fight. Got one. Yep. Yep. Get up here, buddy. Got him. There we go. On the wacky rigged jack worm. Nice little dink. We're gonna put him back. Those are a few of my favorite ways to rig the jack worm. Pick yourself up a pack. They're about five bucks. You can get them at mulefishing.com using the link in my description down below. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys on the next one.